Hi, I'm Chris from Solaris Kit. Today we're going to build the Solar Collector. So, we're going to now open up our box. So, best to do is lie it flat, better on a surface. Just cut the, the tape. So, just take, take some care uh, when you're doing this. All we're going to do is open it up and we'll push all these sections away. So when you open your box, what you'll find is a protective layer of cardboard. So you can just put this to the side just now. And from there, we're going to find our aluminium frame, which is pre-built. So when you put it on your flat surface, what you want to do is make sure that the seal, which is already pre-installed in the frame, is lying across the way. That'll make more sense later on. And after this piece, we will take our aluminium sheet out. So what we'll notice in this is there's quite a lot of grooves that have been already cut in for you. We've got to make sure this is sitting in the right place, firstly. So what we need to do is Stand it up so you can see these two holes. Now these two holes here go to the front left of the, the aluminium frame. So when I lie this down, the holes are on my left hand side. And I, the grooves running across the way, all we're gonna do is line these up with the frame, the seal below, trying to make it as center as possible to the frame. It's been cut to the, the inner size, so it should be easy enough to sit down. Once you've done that, that's, that's ready to go. You take out another section. This is called the diffuse sheet. We just need to make sure that we've got the protective layers off. So there's gonna be one on either side. Again, just throw this section away. These grooves are gonna match the aluminium sheet. So we're gonna set this section so it lines up with all four of the grooves. It doesn't have to be perfect just now. Again, it can just move around. So that's, that's the start of our, our solar collector. Clear the table a little bit, just we're gonna end up with Quite a lot of things coming out that might get in the way. Inside here there's another smaller box which uh, has got these handles on it so what we're going to do is lift it out just be careful it's quite heavy. This box here contains the tree which is the main structure of the collector. It also contains the glass which will be used so what we'll do just now is we'll take sections of the tree Careful out this box. And once again, it's got protective layers on it. So you'll see when, when you take this uh, second layer off, you will have a transparent tree. So I'll just sit that there just now. The second one, you'll notice this one is a lot bigger. This section here is going to be the first piece that we we sit into the, the tree. This section, as you can see, different sizes, different shapes. So we're going to use the big section first. It's going to be sitting in the aluminium frame across the way. So you have to just locate it through the, the diffuse sheet, the aluminium sheet, and, and then into the frame. So we need to just basically push down and engage it into the, into the, the seal of the frame, which you'll, you'll hear with a, a lock. It will sit, just try and make it sit roughly in the middle of your aluminium 
that's it, things will move slightly, but it should lock in place. And that is your first section in. We take the second one, and we have to put this in at a, a slight angle uh, to the first one, just because there's a groove for it to slide down. So we slide it down till it meets the base and just give it a little, a nice easy turn just to, to locate it into the grooves again. Now, always make sure one gets locked in first. So lock it into the grooves again on the top of the tree and then with the second side, just nice and gently, just lock them together. Make sure that all the feet are sitting nice and flat onto the aluminium. And there we have the, the start of the tree. We're ready now to install our absorber pipe. You'll find a coil sitting in the, the box there. If you just uh, try and protect the pipe as best you can, just open it completely up through the, the middle section there. So once you're cut all the way around, we can just uh, remove the protective layer. Okay. So now we've got the pipe out. It comes in a coil, so it will always try and stay as a coil. So we need to kind of use that to, to build our, our solar collector up. So try and just make sure that it's not tangled in any way. Just make sure you've got an end in your hand. So it'll just be a big spring. It'll just coil just nicely. So, so from here, I make sure that there is a big loop because what we need to do is we go round the tree right round it so just watch if your table's slidey okay so just clip it in to the bottom holes of the tree and work your way around now a recommendation is just make sure that we have a good length of pipe sticking out on the left hand side. That, that's just to go through the glass at the bottom. We'll just need to make sure every once in a while that that, that bit pipe there is, is still sticking out the same distance roughly. So it's about, when it coils, it's about that length. So there's about two different ways to, to put this, this pipe in, the absorber pipe. We can either spin the whole unit, feeding the pipe as we go, or we can lift the pipe and, and loop it. Today, I think just because the way the pipe's reacting today, I think I'm going to turn the unit. So I'm going to turn the collector and just clip it in. Clip it in as you go. Now the best way to do this is keeping an eye on this pipe here. So every time you, we get back to the, the start, so that's back to where the two holes of the aluminium is, just make, just make sure that there's plenty of pipe. Uh, there's enough on this, there's 25 meters, so we've got plenty of pipe um, extra at the end, of, once you'll see. getting a bit closer to the top we've just got to keep working our, our pipe and it just gets a bit more trickier as the loop becomes a bit tighter but we just got to keep working our way around we're almost at the top now so what we do is just get the final loops in and it, what we've got at the back now is a, a bigger a bigger hole it's just going to allow any tightness on the pipe when we're going to try and get it through the glass later on so as we'll see big gap 
stop on the right hand side last hole on the other part don't need it what we've got here now is a, a good length of pipe that's going to be able to come through the glass sometimes just because it's in a coil is just unravel it a little bit just just to see if it can change the memory of the pipe a little just makes it a little bit easier going through the glass basically that is your absorber tree built ready for the glass and the final sections so from here we go on to the the glass section uh, the first section has two holes in it so you'll find your glass shapes now what we need to do is we need to make sure we've got the first one which is the one with the two holes and the glass is smooth on one side and rough on the inside so we just need to make sure that we're holding it in the right way so when it's going to sit in the aluminium frame in the groove that's left the rough edges on the inside it reflects the the sun's radiation much better being on the inside so nice and smooth on the outside so the pipe grommets which you'll find in your box now these grommets we've worked out the angle of the glass so the these pipes will enter at a reasonably straight angle so we just need to make sure when it's standing straight that it looks down so once the glass is at an angle it will uh, be at a perfect angle so from the inside the rough side we just push it into the groove of the grommet and just feed it gradually around so the grommet is in place and then do the second one sometimes it's easier to take the last out just take your time just make sure that it's sealed it's just going to seal itself onto the glass perfectly so from there i normally get some lubrication you'll find that in your box just a finger amount just inside where the pipe is going to pass through is very it's quite tight onto the nylon so just just putting a little bit of lubrication onto these these points and from there we're going to do the bottom pipe first just just makes it a bit easier to sit the glass back in so once it's in and sit your glass back in the frame so once it's sticking through plenty pipe there and then we can go into the, the top one top one's a bit trickier as you see i'm trying to keep a lot of length on this so we can join on to any other collector that we're doing so it kind of you kind of have to feed it in and let the pipe twist sometimes it will pop off some of the top sections but we can fix that before we put the other sections of glass on okay So that's our top section in. Just set it back into the groove again and just make sure that when you pull the last bit of pipe out that the tree will meet the glass. It's just going to be sitting a lot neater and it'll just hold the glass on while we're, we're going to put the, the next sections of glass in. Lean them against the tree as, as we go. Okay, so we'll just set them in there. So now what we need from the box is the trims for the glass, which are the corner sections. So you'll find four of these. There'll also be a, a top part. So if we just take them from the box, just set these 
these out here. What we're going to do is just quickly uh, clear the table a little bit. So we need the top part last. So I'll just put that over there just now. And we'll take the trims. We're just going to feed these down between the two sections of glass at the corner. Um, the grooves on the trims will just are the perfect size. So just slide each one right down as far as you go. Sometimes they get a little tight, but usually slide quite easy. If need be, might need to lift the glass just slightly before sliding it down. So on to the last one. The last one can sometimes be the tightest one, but they usually slide down. Just it'll, it'll push the glass out to form the shape. Now that they're all engaged, what we need to do is take the, the top part and sit it on it. So just if we move the pipes just now, just sit on the, the top of the tree, just making sure that all the sections are in the groove and a simple push down will engage the little grippers into the tree uh, nice and tight. That's it sitting there. So now what we have is our finished solar collector ready for installation. Mm -hmm.